assuming debt is a very important conflict that we're dealing with right here. We're in final countdown right now. Who is it going to be? Romney or Obama? And what are they going to do for our country? Debt is definitely a huge issue. Everyone's thinking about that right now. Congress's failure to act on this issue has had repercussions across our country from the economy to ways of dealing with energy and environmental policy. Everyone worries about debt. No one wants their grandchildren ladled with debt. So we have to work together to reduce the debt. What I haven't heard from the candidates yet in, in dealing with the debt is a serious plan to bring people together around the same table and come up with solutions that are going to be agreeable to everyone in a, in a serious way, in a way that's actually going to get us moving forward instead of sitting around this uh, stagnation we've been in for a while now. I'd definitely like to hear more details about how they plan to change our debt. Twelve trillion dollars is a lot of money and both Obama and uh, Romney have a different different opinion of how to change that. We, as all strong nations, should be able to pay for what they need. And to be in debt is a serious thing. That it should be an American issue, not a partisan issue. What I have heard a lot of from both candidates is pointing the finger at the other one for not doing enough, and yet we've failed to see either candidate really address the issue and talk about how they're meaningfully going to make changes to fix that issue. I hope that they actually address things like our level of education instead of just talking about um, underfunding it and start talking about what we can do to improve the system that we have. Um, more generally talking about how to fix things and not just complaining that their way is the best or that this is wrong. I think it's important for our candidates to discuss fixing the debt because it's a matter of leadership, it's a matter of getting the job done, it's a matter of not kicking the can down the road anymore because at the end of the day, we're going to kick back. Washington needs to stop kicking the can down the road because squabbling back and forth is preventing us from making the necessary changes in this country.